Welcome back to another video. In this video, as you see, we're at the tractor and we have this load to get out because today we're going to get our firewood. So we're finally doing it kind of on the last minute because the leaves are about to pop out and it means the trees are getting more wet by um, pretty much by day. So we are kind of like on the last minute trip to cut our firewood. I think it's still gonna be fine to cut it because we cut actually last year or the year before I think or last year was it when we cut firewood we cut it actually roughly the same time and it dried perfectly fine less than 10% moisture so it was perfect the goats have actually eaten more than a trailer load in one week so they're really quick if you haven't seen the video how we brought this over make sure you check out that video because we brought a lot of sticks over for the goats so let's bring this over dump it and on we go to the ditch and cut our firewood So we have made it, we are at the ditch. Uh, before we get started with cutting wood, let's actually go see the problem we had on the way. So I kind of made a decision of not following the road that goes there because it looked very muddy and wet. So I was like, I'm gonna go on the dry field. Yeah, little did I know that a dry field it might look dry, but just a tiny little puddle here. And this is how deep it was. I had to press the, with one hand I pressed the differential lock and press the gas full and it went through. We would do better if we had four wheel drive, but luckily we went through because underneath this field is a lot of peat. So there's a peat bog. And actually many years ago when that lake that we cleaned up got digged, uh, a full excavator sunk underneath that they had struggled for a week or two weeks to pull out because it just fully went under. So it's uh, quite a soft ground here. That's why it's also so dark for, because of the peat uh, underneath. And uh, that's why it's so soft as well. Uh, any other place we're driving is like really nice hard ground already, but this is a struggle. Yeah, uh, we couldn't go this way, the way we usually yeah. went, because like after it is, I don't There's know if we a place it. with yeah, it's very right. deep next to the lake ditch. I hope we can go around the lake and get out without uh, any soft spots, but we might walk it first and then go should have just walked this and would have known that this is no good and maybe the road is the same but yeah let's close this up now uh, while it's soft because otherwise it's just looking like a mess and this is a grass field at the end of the day and i got stuck with a bicycle on this path it does not look as wet and i don't know why i'm not wearing my tall boots i just got out with the small ones i got a bit wet as well whoa <gasps> don't sink in again are you in the mud <sighs> I didn't expect it to sink so much. Yeah, well that's what the truck is. Okay. So after a bit of an exercise of closing it up, it's done. Uh, not perfect, but uh, it's definitely not going to be at such a ditch for the tractors to cut grass here in summer. Because in summer that's going to become all rock hard and it's not going to be very pleasant for the people that are cutting the fields here. So I also don't want to damage someone's land. So this is not our lands or neighbors so yeah i think that's a lot better worth the effort of closing it up for sure i mean we did the damage so we have to so okay. yeah let's go and cut the wood okay let's go My cut was way too tall.
So we have a few days later, as you can see the weather is extremely hot today, uh, the thermometer says 27 degrees and I feel like it's about right, it's very hot, I'm really sweating in this, I will take it off in a bit. And we want to see if we can put like a bucket on the front here since uh, I measured and it kind of almost fits from this from the small machine and this is for the snow plow and it kind of fits so we might be able to have somewhere to put this chainsaw in and the fuel because right now I'm sitting next to it and it barely fits so it's pretty uncomfortable for driving so let's see if we can put this on that would be a nice temporary bucket for the front I know it's because mm, mm, I look like a bitty Sadly. Are you okay?
we are done for today. As you see, we got a lot more than we did the other day because we loaded all the big ones on as these pretty much ready to go, ready to chop wood. So yeah, that was easier to carry. And we still have a big one left and a bunch of small ones. So it's probably going to be a full trailer load uh, and again, but we're not going to film that. So let's go home and unload this. And that's going to be it for today because we are very tired. It is extremely hot. It is Very the hot. 9th of April and we are with, um, we're sweating we're the sweating way we are. We're sweating we are. So <laughs> very hot. Okay, let's go. Hope nothing falls. I'll stay behind you. So we have finished and uh, we have a lot more to go as I explained but this is two days of work we got this much and if we get the one last trailer and plus all the sticks that the goats have cleaned I think we're gonna have a lot more than last year but that's pretty much it for this video hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next time we're very tired we're going to relax we're exhausted and um, we underestimated uh, working in summer well not summer scratched always <laughs> we are covering scratches everywhere and also got smacked in the face. Yeah, that's a bit more than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs>